My country people, hmm, our second gist lover, don't still come at again, Apostle Cassie. Okay, Chuku, someone was arrested AKA on Monday. Akara, wow. Lion, and, um, hmm, on understand, you don't come at home. Hmm. We saw the come video talk about this five man. days so or this six pastor, days later. And I know say pastor matter, I know they too much they pull mask. The picture, uh -huh. the picture. When they come package this pastor with market, so. But uh, some this people say it was set this up. Word, they turn into hmm, man of God. Can't they confuse of you people again? I not can understand. I don't want shook my put for this matter. So I they see this matter, they fly okay. around all social media handle. You are I'm not supposed to talk okay, about my people, mean I watch waiting apostle cast come to put for inside Those this matter. Cover so, evil. You understand me? This when we see evil, let's shun evil. Bible saying that cover it is sin will not prosper. Okay, uh, there is a public disgrace already happening to someone who is who was part of the body of Christ, who is the body of Christ, or who is in the body of Christ. You understand? So it has happened. So our question is someone say it was set up. Hey, they set him up. They set him up. It was set up. He can't do a thing like that. He can't do a thing like that. I'll keep some fat about what I know. Some certain things I know. Keep them. Let's get the. Let's get to hear your opinion. If you are watching, wherever you are watching. Was he set up? Was he free? Or something. What did you think? What do you think? So I want to know if he was set up. Or there is something playing that we don't know. Now I want to say this the problem, the problem in Christianity started like this when everybody became a prophet. Today so you see everybody is a prophet. Everybody wants to prophesy. This is where it started from. You know, when we talk, they say we don't have crowd. We have five members. We have two members. We have seven members. We have three members. Oh, we are jealous. We are doing this. We are We are not jealous. Like I've said before, come on, I'm the old firewood, the Akara Ward. I want you to know that there is, there is nothing in this life when it comes to manipulation that I don't know. There is nothing I don't know. But we choose not to sow our hand. It's not as if I'm perfect. I may not be perfect. But I'm proud in my own little way. I thank God for my life. We we need a crowd. Yes, we need it. But we must get it in a genuine way. You must pay the price. You must suffer to get it. It does not come overnight. Oh, I thank God for those who had the, the call of crowd overnight. Two days, one month, five... I say congratulations to you. Yes, we don't doubt it, but there are some people who pay price to get it. So crowd or whatsoever. But there are some people who also pay demonic price to get it. If you see what is happening today, when you bury in your church, you already have a crowd. I'm watching for Kaduna is real. Okay, Bello Adeaza Benjamin said it is real. So if if someone when you, for example, now you wake up, you see pastor driving fleet of cars. And when you talk, they say you, you are jealous. You can never be like them. Oh, hey, pastor, you are jealous of people because they are, they are this, they are that. Come on, let me tell you. I can't be jealous with anybody who got his way through dubious miss. This thing that is happening, if we don't stop it today, a lot of pastors are going to be worse. The pastors that is coming, the next coming upcoming pastors are going to be worse than the one we are seeing now i'm not trying to vindicate myself i'm good or i'm this i'm that i want to say oh i'm the i'm the best among the world but i've been able to maintain some level of integrity for myself if we don't stop what is happening right now the next generation that is coming will be worse Everybody want to be a prophet. Everybody want to prophesy. And before you know this one, I started saying prophets. Before you know this one, is prophet this. This one is prophet that. Before you know a small boy from nowhere, you know this one does not even have the spirit of God. He's already driving fleet of cars. 
and you ask yourself, what is happening? What is happening? How, how did this weight come? How did this auditorium come? Now you see, real men of God are suffering. <laughs> it's true. Oh, no. So you see, you see men of God who are real men of God, they are suffering. Even some members have left real pastor church and started attending fake church because they need miracle, because they need that, they need this, they blah, blah, blah. See, we don't have to, we don't need to blame them. You know, sometimes when I talk about, uh, when I said I appreciate some of the things Matthias does, some people feel maybe because, oh, so I'm supporting Matthias, because Matthias uh, is saying uh, Jesus is not real. No, when it comes to that area, I'm not supporting Matthias. But listen, I'm somebody, I'm an open-minded person. I, I, I pick words, you understand? When someone makes sense, you take the part that is good, Decide that is bad, you leave it. Matthias might come out and condemn Jesus. Jesus is bad. Jesus is this. There's no Jesus. Uh, Jesus is white man, this thing. Wow, he's wrong. But when Matthias begins to say there are some issues that you need to hand over to the hospital to take care of. You can't just have headache and begin to come and ask for the blood of Jesus to be wasted. There's paradox there, there are parasites among there. There are things you can take for those headaches to go. If you have, uh, for example, now look at our brother who is sick, uh, Prince uh, Chinedu. He's sick with all the men of God who perform miracles, signs, and wonders that bring death to life, that evil prison was having kidney problems. Like, all of them, they are seeing him now. No of them are stuck. We have not seen some people go there and lift him up and knock him on the ground, let him heal. We have not seen those people who say they are prophet. Hey, they can heal this, they can do this one. Hey, yeah, bring it down. They have seen that young man now. We need to look at practical experience now. Just show practical that yes, you are a real man of God. Heal that man. Because the lie in Christianity is too much. And so many of you here yeah, have been deceived. You feel I'm an antichrist. You feel I hate pastors. You feel I, I'm here to, uh, to, 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 to spoil their name. Or I'm bringing bad reproach to the body of Christ. No. What I'm trying to do is to sanitize the church. The church has to return back to its normal state. So that anybody that is doing evil will be cautioned. You understand? When you expose these evil people, then the upcoming that want to put hand in it, they will withdraw from it and be genuine. Real men of God today are suffering in Nigeria. Some of them don't even have car. Yes, now. Some of them, some real men of God don't even have car. Some of them are struggling in life. And some of some of these, are, you, you see, the, these people who sponsor some of these fake prophets, Yes, because the fake prophet know what you need. They want to see you. You want to see them do miracles, signs and wonders that big things are happening, strange things are happening. So they do it and you sponsor them. But you have a man of God who is genuine. Who is doing? You can't sponsor those people, boy. You keep sponsoring what you don't know, what you cannot testify of. Things that now some of you said, uh, uh, yeah, it was arranged, this and this. Hey, don't forget that. The drugs was found in his body, in his body, not in his back. In his back, back, back. And this thing no good. This thing, uh, let me tell you, there are so many men of God. You know, I said it. I said it some months so, last year. I said, when you see some men of God buying private jet, doing this that and that. Blah 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 blah. I said some oh, please don't don't come and put me in trouble. Some by private jet doing this that and that. Some are spirit of designment. If you know some shit, some pastor does to make money to drive big cars. If you talk, they will say you are jealous. I cannot be jealous of what I hate. I can. If I am jealous, I will do it to get it. That is what jealousy is. You understand me? So let's know. Um, was he set up? Was he set up? We want to know what actually happened. What actually happened? You see, uh, NDLE is not people you just uh, 
come out and bring stories and say it's not like this. Oh God, Jesus audio, he never existed. Uh, Jesus, oh God, Jesus not audio, he never existed. Yeah, if you say Jesus does not exist, you can't you can prove that because one question from you, you are breathing. The air you are breathing is Jesus. So if you say Jesus does not exist, close your nose, close your mouth for five minutes or close your nose for 10 minutes. If you can't do it, then I will believe that Jesus does not exist. If you say Jesus does not exist, close your nose, close your mouth. Don't breathe for 10 minutes. If you can't do it, I will know Jesus does not exist. So stop. If, if some pastors has messed up, does not mean Jesus is not real. So we are here to correct that. So if you are saying Jesus is not real, Jesus does not exist. For the Bible said, if we say we have no sin, we are deceiving ourselves and the truth in none is not in us. Let me tell you, I can, I can give you so many examples of my contact with Jesus Christ. And I know how it works. So that is why when I see fake, I know what is fake. So something we have testified on and we have seen it work. So if you want to drop your contribution, drop. Give up on Christianity, religion, because it is just a business center. Yes, we will not doubt you that it's a business center. But in the other hand, I want you to accept that some people have turned it to business center. But it's never a business center. It is never a business center. And that is why we all must rise up, come together, work together, and let us on our own, let us on our own put an end to this false prophet. Put an end to this false prophet because the rate is going is is something else people are giving up already people have stopped going to church why because the the, the is is overhyped jesus healed yes but it's not the one that pastors are making it look as if a, a con no matter the sickness you have if you come, I'm going to heal you. You see, we want a situation whereby you will say Jesus is the healer. Stop making people feel that you have the power of healing. Or you have the power to make people millionaire. No. You pray to God and God answered you. So I want you to drop your comment. Was this pastor set up? If it is set up, how possible was that? How possible was that that it was set up and let us not forget that they said the drugs was found on his body that means he planted it in his body planted it i didn't mean swallow it maybe inside it was inside the shed or whatsoever i don't just know but we are educated for for crying out loud so let us drop our comments your idea, your contribution, if it was real, if it was set up. You know, this thing is a shame to the body of Christ. God told me early this year, God spoke to me. I said, God told me and said that so many fake pastors who are up there, God is going to bring them down. Those of you who have been following my video, you will see that video in January posted that video in general. I think first or second week of January I posted that video. So many pastors who are fake, who are pretty bad name to the body of Christ. You are going to watch and see how God is going to destroy them one after the other. God is not a man. You can't deceive man forever. For those of you who have been deceived, be there. A time we come your eyes will be open. How do we know the real men of God? Bible says, test all spirit and see. Listen, if you are sensitive, you will know what is fake. You will not fraud. You understand what I'm saying now? Okay, how will a pastor perform miracles? You see healing, you see miracle, you see this, you see that. And you go to that same place where miracle is like a factory. Because they make you believe that they produce miracles there. They produce healing there. And when you are sick, you go there, you don't get healed. That shows there's something they're hiding. People are, people are getting, you are seeing miracle inflows of miracles, prophecy. But to you, there's nothing. Even if they give you a prophecy about your real life, ask yourself a question, who did you discuss with that they took? 
and give you a prophecy. But if you see a real man of God, he gives you prophecy and he tells you the mind of God. And if you do exact what the man of God have asked you to do, you are going to get results. I see any big churches driving and they see a small church in battle that is suffering for them to say ah this church has been here this church need to uh, enjoy a good facility oh the pastor does not have money let me support this church in the days of late Archbishop Benson Idaosa, he was doing that. He was supporting young ministry. He was supporting churches. The church don't have to be your branch. It don't have to be your branch church to support themselves. The only person they serve, any other person, they don't know about it. They don't care about a fellow pastor suffering. They will see a fellow pastor suffering. They will walk and pass that pastor. Some of these pastors who share money on television, who do orphanage, who go and begin to give money to people outside. Do you know at the end, these same people, these same people in their church, their pastors are suffering, their branch pastors are suffering, their resident pastors are suffering, their boss pastors are suffering. Some of them barely pay for house rent. I know what I'm talking about. I've seen occasions where one or two of them call me to beg for money. I said, but your pastor is the one doing They said, no, leave that thing. Eh. Now we wait there and I know it in day. So there are so many people. Now for those of you who they used to fight us, when you send people to come and fight us for the truth, to speak, to do this and that and that, that, and that. if a pastor can carry drugs, can that pastor assassinate a person? No, now just think about it. He can and do all manner of things. He can do all manner of things. I want to beg all pastors, please, I don't hate anybody. If you cannot even stop, please reduce it. It's too much. It's becoming obvious. The world is beginning to see. Please, if you are watching, please just help to share so that you can get to some persons. Share the video. Thank you, Matthias, for saving me from the hands of these people called pastors. So that is it. There are so many people who are just there. They are suffering. The, the, the church is not the way. Everybody is dragging for their own personal interest. A pastor is ordaining his son, the nurse in the head. You know, it's like a family business. People begin to see all this. They begin to wonder, where is, is this? Is this our God planet? Is this our God planet? We want to beg. The fake is too much. The looting is too much. There are people who are victims. They don't know how to cry out. They don't know how to cry out. This same story that is going on on social media now. So many things has been to come up. How some people were duped. How some people were loot. When he went to India, what happened? This and this, that and that. You know, so many things happening. We have a case we are handling now. A pastor who went and slept with an old man's wife. The woman is dead now. Before the woman died, he confessed the pastor. And sleepy, I have the video and everything when the pastor was attacked and all that. This kind of thing is not good. We are begging. Pastors, I don't know, I, I, I wish I know your name now, but I know you will watch now. Those of you who are supporting them on internet, stop. Because when the wrath of God will come, when the wrath of God will come, you will not dodge it. I will beg you in the name of God. Let us not bring bad name. Because the next generation that is coming is going to be worse than this. Those of you who are using talks to chase pastors that say the truth, using talks, using court boys to do this, the day that court boy will repent, he will mention your name that you once used him. That time he will not say, no, he is set up. I don't know him. Somebody paid him to spoil my name, to do this one, to do that. Now, now that you are supposed to stop, you will not stop. Later you send them to start calling me. You say that we fight them. Because the ones you are using now to fight truths. I hope you are training people that will fight the one you are using now. Because the one you are using now, the time we come, they will wise up and know the truth. Pray wherever he is, he give his life to Christ and reamend his way and continue what God has called him to do. And I believe there's no man of God that does not have an error. I think this is his trying time. And I think he's changed from it. If he's guilty, if he's not guilty, I will beg him 
as it comes out, it should make a video to sue NDLA that uh, they frame it up, someone set him up. So we want to see all these things happening. So it's not just enough to come and maybe you'll be preaching in the church and say they set me up. No, if you know they set you up, in case you come out, you see this video. If you know say they set you up, say you know to true do one. Come and do live video. We will support. We call the ten and say we no go agree. Oh, we no go agree. Now set that pastor up. Say carry drugs. He carry drugs. He carry drugs. We we'll come and let us out. But if we call the yen and say they go one altar, you call the priest. Say some of you heard what happened to me when I was going. There was a woman I wanted to help, and God told me this woman that a power fight him in his father's house. Before I know drugs appear in my bag, I know it was manipulated from their village to enter into my. My bag. So when I was going on knowledge to me, the NDLA, they trapped me on the road. Ladies and gentlemen, I came here today. Any power in your village, they cannot stop me. Holy Ghost, not tell us that thing who goes to you. Hmm. They tell you now, you see, with, with, the, with the joke, you know, uh, uh, this and this and that. You know, cut my tongue. You know, cut my tongue. The thing, the, the thing they vest me, they, you know why they vest me? You know why they vest me? The thing that is making some people who God really call, people will see them as if God did not call them. I've seen pastors suffer. They had genuine call. They refuse, they refuse to soil their hand in all this evil that is happening. They refuse, but they are suffering. Their children are suffering. Their children cannot even go to school. They are dear. They have four members. Like some 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 used to say that me, I have seven members. They have four members. They have five. They have ten. They have twenty. But they are still there struggling. Say no, we no, we not saw our hand. I rather call this Jesus till I die. Why the fake one are coming? Would you labor the other one as labor? They will remove it with miracle. And go to their church now when the people are not victim they'll start be, they'll start running back or they will not say i will not go to church again church is a scam but when god gave you a real pastor what did you do you you turn your back on the pastor because there was no Hollywood movie there you prefer going to where they are acting movie this and this and then if anybody corrects them you want to fight the person may god forgive us all and have mercy on this generation in the name of jesus god bless